Thank you for letting me be myself a memoir, man. By Sly Stone. Look, I didn't know much about Sly Stone. Um, I know, you know, I knew a couple of songs. Um, me being from the Bay, of course, my parents would listen to Hot Fun in the Summertime. Uh, thank you for letting me be myself again. But I didn't know much about the brother. I had no clue. I mean, I knew he was from the Bay, but I didn't know he was from Vallejo. You know, he's from Vallejo. He's my grandfather's age, a little bit younger. He's, he just turned 80 last year. The book just came out on October 17th of 23. So literally just three months ago. Um, I consumed it on the Libby app. So if you're not hip, Libby is an app where if you have a library card, you can consume books. So if you have a Kindle, you can get the PDF version. Or if you uh, like audiobooks like me, you can get the audiobook version there. And I consume most of my books that way. So this book, man, honestly, um, I love biographies. And this is the first book review I've done for the year. So this is the first book of the year of 24. Um, I really enjoyed this book. I mean, I really enjoyed this book. Um, just really to hear where uh, Sly came from. You know what I mean? Um, I'm from, if you're from the Bay Area and you're like in your 30s or 40s, um, I love to hear about Bay Area history. You know what I'm saying? We talking about Bay Area. We talking about San Francisco Bay Area, San Francisco, Oakland, Vallejo, East Palo Alto, and all that shit. But to hear about the rich history, especially music history from the Bay Area and Sly's talking about his contemporaries. He's talking about how, you know, James Brown and Billy Preston and Janis Joplin and Jim Morrison and, and Richard Pryor. And I'm like, damn, you know, and I've read Richard Pryor's memoir before. Um, but this Sly Stone book, man, like, you know, even if you're not a fan of his music, I think you could respect the man for his, uh, the way he, had, he tells the story. You know, um, it's written, it's, it's written like he's talking to you. It's not like all oh, Queens English. And then on December 14th, 1975, it ain't like that. It's like, yeah, man, back in October, cause a lot of, a lot of old dudes from the Bay, you know, a lot of dudes from the Bay who, you know, come from that, you know, that were born, uh, in the forties and they kind of like came of age in the 60s and 70s they got that real player pimp kind of language the kind of lingo and the way how he talks in it is just real smooth he's like yeah you know what i'm saying yeah man you know it was cooler than the other side of the pillow 1975 and it, it's the it, i don't know if it's him narrating the audio book i think it is but it's smooth like if you if you have the audio i would suggest get the audio book because it's got three different uh unreleased songs that he never put out as well so it's smooth man like sly stone man um i read a lot of music biographies and it makes me want to dive into the artist music even more and i've been listening to a lot of sly stone since i finished this book um and like i said i would suggest if you're a music fan uh check him out even if you don't like his music still check it out man i love to see the arc of people's story you know he doesn't make it seem like he was a perfect man which he was not um you know and i'm not here to judge him at all he had his downfalls but he was an amazing artist you know uh the brother got married at madison square garden how many people can say that you know what i'm saying so um i rate this book i give it a 86 and i would definitely recommend it to anybody who loves biographies especially if you love music biographies but yeah, it's 86. Uh, thank you for letting me be myself a memoir by Sly Stone. Check that shit out.